If the ground beneath Yellowstone were to shift just in the wrong way, thousands of people could be trapped in an instant. And before you think this is just wild speculation, let me be clear about what I'm about to tell you. It's a mix of confirmed science and unverified theories. I'll let you know which is which so you can decide for yourself. Now, before we go any further, I also want to be clear about something that I'm not telling you to stay away from Yellowstone. It's one of the most incredible, awe-inspiring places on the planet, and millions of people visit safely each year. What I am saying is that, like any powerful natural environment, it's worth knowing what's really happening beneath your feet. Yellowstone is one of the most carefully monitored volcanic systems on Earth. The United States Geological Survey, the USGS, keeps constant watch over it with a network of seismic sensors, GPS stations, and thermal cameras. And they have good reason to. We're talking about a place that sits on top of a supervolcano, a massive chamber of molten rock lying just a few miles beneath the surface. Most people think about geysers, hot springs, and bison when they hear the name Yellowstone, but, but beneath those famous sites lies a hidden world, a world of caverns, channels, and geological formations that most visitors and frankly most Americans have no idea even exist. So let's start with what we know for sure. Beneath Yellowstone there are lava tubes, long, hollow passages created when molten lava once flowed through the underground channels and then drained away, leaving behind these empty corridors of rock. These aren't massive subway tunnel-sized caverns you might see in a movie, but in some places, they stretch for hundreds of feet. They're fragile, unstable, and often filled with deadly gas. Then there's the park's hydrothermal plumbing system. This is the network of underground conduits that feeds every hot spring, every geyser, and every mud pot you see above the ground. Superheated water under extreme pressure travels through these channels until it escapes through the surface, and sometimes with enough force to send a jet of boiling water hundreds of feet into the air, like Old Faithful. And yes, there are man-made tunnels here too, but they're not the kind conspiracy theorists love to imagine. The USGS and park scientists have drilled access points and installed monitoring equipment underground. These passages are usually small, just big enough for cables, sensors, and maintenance crews. They're there to track the temperature changes, measure gas output, and detect subtle shifts in the earth. Even with all this, scientists admit they've only mapped a fraction of what's beneath the park. Much of it remains a mystery, and in an environment this volatile, even known features could turn deadly if the ground shifts unexpectedly. Now, let's move into the realm of speculation. And I'll make it very clear, what I'm about to describe hasn't happened here, but geologists agree that in theory, it could. Imagine a sudden seismic event not even a catastrophic earthquake, just a strong enough tremor in the wrong place, a section of fragile geothermal crust, maybe in a busy boardwalk area or along a popular trail. It suddenly collapses. Beneath it, instead of solid ground, is a cavern or a boiling hot hydrothermal chamber. Anyone standing there drops in. In some areas, the entrances to these underground spaces could seal almost immediately from shifting rock and debris. That means rescue crews would have no safe way to reach the people trapped inside, especially if the collapse caused a superheated steam or toxic gases to rush upward. This isn't pure fantasy. Around the world and other volcanic regions like Iceland and Hawaii, the ground collapses into these hidden lava tubes and has injured and killed people before. The difference is Yellowstone has far more tourist foot traffic and far more geothermal features in close proximity. If it happened here, even on a small scale, it could strand dozens of people. And in the worst case scenario, maybe even hundreds or thousands if it occurred during peak season in a crowded area. And then there's the theory that takes this even further. Some claim that Yellowstone's underground features are not just natural caverns and water channels, but 
part of a massive human-made network. In conspiracy circles, you'll hear stories about tunnels connecting Yellowstone to Cold War military facilities hidden deep in the mountains of the West. Some say there are sealed entrances in remote parts of the park, disguised as rock faces, blocked off with steel doors, or simply placed in areas marked as restricted to the public. There's even the claim that these tunnels are part of a broader government evacuation system, designed to move key personnel underground in the event of a supervolcano eruption or another national crisis. Now, there is no public evidence proving these tunnels exist. No blueprints, no confirmed photos. But what we do know is that the Mountain West does have a history of massive underground facilities like Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. And the region is dotted with decommissioned missile silos and Cold War era bunkers. That fact alone keeps the Yellowstone Tunnel theories alive for some people. To really understand why some people think thousands could be trapped here, you have to picture Yellowstone not as a wide open park, but as a thin crust above a complex, fragile underworld. Most visitors walk along the boardwalks and well-marked trails, often above some of the thinnest ground in the park. In certain places, you're literally standing over boiling water, acidic pools, or hollow spaces where the Earth's crust might only be a few feet thick. And these aren't just random spots. They're some of the most popular tourist areas. Old Faithful, Norris Geisen Basin, Mammoth Hot Springs, places where crowds gather, cameras out, shoulder to shoulder, often without realizing just how unstable the ground beneath them might be. If a seismic tremor, even a small one, hit at just the right moment, parts of those surfaces would collapse. Imagine dozens of people dropping into an unseen chamber. Even if they survived the fall, they'd be in an environment where the air could burn their lungs in seconds, where the walls might close in as rocks shifted above them, and where the only exits could be blocked by scalding water or debris. And remember, this is speculation. Nothing like this has happened here in recorded history. But scientists openly admit that the underground geology of Yellowstone it's not fully mapped. There could be voids, passages, or caverns beneath areas where people walk every day. Now again, I'm not trying to scare anyone away from Yellowstone. The Park Service has safety measures in place, and most of the areas that pose serious dangers are well marked, or closed to the public. But when you mix an active hydrothermal system, unpredictable seismic activity, and large crowds, you get a scenario that, while unlikely, is not impossible. Now let's talk about the part of the Yellowstone story that fuels late night radio calls, internet threads, and decades of whispered rumors, the supposed man-made tunnel network. According to these claims, Yellowstone is not just a volcanic wonder. It's a hub in a massive underground infrastructure stretching across the Western United States. Some say these tunnels were carved out during the Cold War part of a secret military project to connect strategic locations. One of the most famous repeated claims is that Yellowstone links underground to Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado, the famous NORAD complex that can withstand a direct nuclear strike. If true, that would mean a tunnel system hundreds of miles long, hidden beneath the mountains, plains, and forests. Others suggest connections to Denver International Airport a place with its own share of underground rumors, and even to Mount Shasta in California, a mountain steeped in both Native American legends and modern day conspiracy theories. Of course, building a tunnel system on that scale would be an engineering feat almost beyond belief. We're talking about boring through multiple mountain ranges, dealing with geothermal heat, and keeping the entire project secret for decades there's no official proof that such a system exists, but for some people, the very fact that we know about massive underground facilities like Cheyenne Mountain makes the idea more plausible. And here's where it gets interesting. We know the US government has built enormous underground structures before. The Greenbrier Bunker in West Virginia, for example, was designed to house Congress in case of a nuclear war. 
It stayed secret for over 30 years before journalists exposed it in the 1990s. That's proof that larger scale underground projects can exist in total secrecy for decades. So for believers in the Yellowstone Tunnel Theory, it's not a question of could they, it's a question of did they. People who believe in the Yellowstone Tunnels offer a few different explanations for why they would exist. One is evacuation. If the supervolcano showed signs of imminent eruption, these tunnels could be used to quickly move government officials, scientists, or even select civilians out of danger. Another theory is containment, that these tunnels could be used to house equipment or personnel meant to manage a crisis from underground. Some even speculate that they could serve as observation points or command centers, monitoring Yellowstone's activity from deep within the earth. And then there's the more sensational idea that these tunnels are connected to other underground networks, not just in the US, but globally. This is where theories cross over into talk of underground cities, hidden transport systems, and connections to classified projects the public has never been told about. Again, none of this is proven, but the combination of Yellowstone's real geological complexity and the documented history of large secret underground facilities elsewhere keeps these theories alive year after year. So where does that leave us? On one hand, you have the very real and very active geological system beneath Yellowstone, one that scientists are trying to fully understand. On the other, you have a web of unverified claims about hidden tunnels, secret entrances, and the underground links to military installations hundreds of miles away. Some of what I've shared is solid fact, backed by the USGS data and decades of geological research. The rest is speculation, stories that might never be proven or disproven, but they keep the imagination running. And here's my take. You can visit Yellowstone and be in awe of its beauty while still wondering what lies beneath your feet. I'm not saying don't visit, I'm saying that when you walk those boardwalks, when you see Old Faithful erupt, remember that there's a world beneath you that is far more complex, far more dangerous, and far more mysterious than most of us will ever see. You know when you look at why these Yellowstone theories stick around, it's partly because of human psychology. We've always been fascinated and terrified by what's hidden beneath us, darkness, isolation, the idea of being cut off from the surface, it taps into some of our oldest survival fears. And the fact that Yellowstone isn't just any park, it's sitting on one of the most geologically active spots in the world. When people hear supervolcano, they don't think of calm, peaceful landscapes. They think of fire, ash, and disaster movies. So when someone suggests that there might be an entire network of man-made tunnels, or that certain areas are kept hidden from the public, people lean in, they listen. And here's the thing, the National Park Service does close off parts of Yellowstone from time to time. That's a fact. Sometimes it's because of bear activity, sometimes it's trail damage, but sometimes it's because the ground is shifted, creating dangerous conditions. We've seen boardwalks warped, hot springs suddenly go dormant or erupt violently. An entire section is blocked off with no public access for months. For most people, it's just a safety precaution. For others, it's a sign that something is happening out of sight. And if the unverified stories are even half true, if there really are deeper, darker places hidden beneath the boardwalks, then we've barely scratched the surface of what Yellowstone is hiding. That mix, the proven science and the unproven mystery, is exactly why this place fascinates so many people.